Hi, welcome back to Tony's Cool Tools. I'm pretty pumped up about the subject we're going to talk about today on this video, and that is tractor storage, or for that matter, the lack of it. So the only onboard storage that I have here is this little dinky toolbox, about five inches by maybe 13 inches. It has one tray that doesn't hold much and some other tools that I have inside. Virtually nothing for storage here. And I know we all suffer from the same problem of no onboard storage. So what do we end up doing? So for many years, I've been using the loader bucket here to take my tools to the woods. It's not probably the best idea because as we know, if we hit a bump, some of this could fall out. We roll over it and crush it. But it is the way we've been doing it for years. So besides the loader bucket, if you happen to have a set of pallet forks, you can utilize your IBC totes as a carrying device as well. And it holds a ton of stuff. And I really like this. Unfortunately, it is not super convenient if you only want to make a few cuts. You don't want to have to haul this up or change the bucket to the pallet forks. And the other option for you is your three-point carry-all. A lot of us have built those and utilized those and they have a lot of storage on them and you could put onboard stuff like chainsaw carriers, axe holders, and whatnot. You can customize it any way you like and they work fantastic. But they are also time consuming to install if you're just doing something quickly and they stick out about five feet or so and make your turning radius that much less. But it definitely is a viable option for carrying a lot of stuff and having storage. So for several years, I've been looking for storage solutions for both my tractors and have not been very successful. Fortunately, I think I found a company that has the solution for tractor and UTV storage. And for those of you who have watched me regularly, you know I try to focus on US manufactured products, like the recent videos that I've done on Logox, Sawhall, and Garden Weasel, all of them US-based companies that make quality products. So today's video is on another U.S. manufacturing company, and the name of it is Artillion. So many of you may be familiar with Artillion, but for those who are not, they manufacture pallet forks, grapples, canopies, stump buckets, and plows. And as an FYI, I'm not getting paid by Artillion to do this review. However, they did send me the product for testing and review purposes, and we'll be only talking about their storage solutions that utilize the ROPs. And one thing I like about the Artillion storage solution is that it was easy to install, fully modular, and mounts to the ROPs of your tractor. So just a little bit about the Artillion company. They are a 13-year-old company, and they're based out of West Boylston, Massachusetts. And they are one of the divisions of Curtis Industries. And for those of you not familiar with Curtis, they manufacture enclosures for tractors, lawnmowers, and golf carts as well as some UTVs. So if you happen to buy a open station tractor like I did and regret that, you can get an enclosure, both a soft enclosure like vinyl or a hard shell enclosure that has glass. Oh, and by the way, I'll have a link to the Artillion Company down below in the info section. So before we start the ROP storage solution by Artillion, and I wanna let you know that the instructions that come with it are extremely explicit they're very well written and they have a lot of diagrams. I much prefer pictures and diagrams than written instructions. So there's both of them in here. The other thing this has is it'll tell you what tools you need. And also one kind of crazy thing is how much time it should take you. And it breaks it down into a professional, a dealer, I believe, or let's see here, a experienced dealer, an average dealer, and a do-it-yourselfer. So the first project we're going to be doing is installing the bars on the ROPs. So the first thing I have to do is remove this toolbox here to make room for the brackets. So the Artillion system starts out with the bar. You can get this in 42, 54, and 68 inches. And it all depends on how wide your ROPs are on your specific tractor. This one's going to be mounted somewhere around here. As you can see, it comes with all the hardware that's necessary. In addition, we'll be installing these quick release brackets in the back so that you can take the whole system off if you choose to. And you're wondering why. Well, if you have a three point uh, snow blower or a back hole, you wanna make sure you have full visibility in the back. So you could remove this and just store it inside. 
So on my Coyote tractor, I had a little bit of an issue with the bracket in the fact that I wanted to keep it as low as I possibly can on the ROPS, but I had this welded piece that holds the wire up here, so I had to mount it as low as I could here and position it. So basically on the other side, just so you get an idea, super easy to install, just the U-bracket, this L-angle bracket, the support bracket, and this bracket up here, that's it. Now I just have to level it on both sides and tighten it up and we're ready to install our bar. So I attached the mounting bracket, tightened up this support bracket right over here, and then I found out that naturally my driveway is not level, as you can see right there. So I took my tractor inside the garage on a level concrete and leveled it over there. So this is level at this point. Basically the installation is complete. Now this is on the kit that is stationary, a fixed unit. And what I mean by that is once I install that top screw right over there, the nut and bolt I should say on both sides, it's stationary. So I went ahead and got the quick release plate right over here that mounts here so that I can take this whole bracket off and leave it inside the pole barn or the garage when I want to. So the first part of installing the quick release bracket is making sure that these brass pins are facing to the outside. I put the carriage bolt already in the bottom with the washer and the nut behind it and I'm going to do the same thing on this one. Because it's a carriage bolt it has a square shoulder in the back and all I do is put it through the hole, push it in, put the washer in and use my lock nut and tighten it up. And here's the other part of the hinge that just fits on. I've already put in the 3 quarter inch 5 16 bolt in there so I'm ready to put the bar in as soon as I do the opposite side. For the next step I'm just going to tighten the lower portion of this slightly until I can put the bar in and make the proper adjustments. So now I'm just going to install my bar on this. Since I left it loose, I'm able to move it up. And the same thing on this side, trying to get it at least close to being equal. So now that I've measured it from each side and they're equal, I'm going to tighten up the bolts. The instructions do say to grease this up, and there it is. So now when I put one of the storage baskets on here, I can remove the whole thing. So make sure that if you do remove this and reinstall it, that you take these safety latch pins and put them inside here so that nothing will bounce off and it's nice and sturdy. And lastly, Artillion gives you these caps that cover the nuts, a nice finishing touch. And the last thing I wanted to mention about the bars is they are rated for 100 pounds. So that's regardless of whether it's the 42, 54, or 68, 100 pounds. So now that we finished the installation of the ROPS bar, we get to go to the fun stuff now, and that is the accessories that go on this. There's actually eight different storage modules that Artillion offers. The first one I wanted to show you was the five gallon bucket one. And I'll tell you what, if I would have known this three to four years ago, I would have gotten it. This is all I would have initially needed until I found out that there's a lot better and a lot more stuff. It all comes with these cam arms right here. They're very, very substantial. And these are, be these are able to be mounted right on your bar and tightened down. Now this is made out of 14 gauge steel and you can put as much as 40 pounds on here. Also, all the products I'm going to be showing you are laser cut and powder coated, so they'll be rust free for years. Now this is not a tutorial on plastic pails, but I just wanted to mention a few things. Regardless of whether it's a four gallon, five gallon, or what I prefer, six gallon, they'll all fit inside here. One other comment about these pails. I definitely prefer the metal handle over the plastic. These will last a while, but end up breaking. On this one here, 
If you leave them outside, these break, so I usually just duct tape them and they'll last for years. Now I'm typically cursing lids because when you buy the bucket, you gotta buy a separate lid for it. And when it comes in, it's brand new. Trying to get it off once you pop it on is almost impossible. So I wanted to show you a different type of a lid that you could get. It's called a gamma lid. Very similar to the other one, but this one unscrews very easily and you can put your products inside here. For those of you that are preppers, you know about these gamma lids. You can put food in here and seal them. They have rubber seals on both sides here. And as I mentioned before, if I only had this six gallon bucket storage unit, it would have been enough for a while. I can put a ton of stuff in this thing and carry it around and not have to come back and forth into the pole barn or the garage to get more tools. So if you like the five gallon bucket holder, you're gonna love the open basket tool holder. It's made out of 16 gauge steel and weighs 22 pounds. And it's rated capacity is 65 pounds of stuff inside here. Now the nice thing I like about this open basket is I can take it into my pole barn or garage, fill it with the tools that I need, and it has carry handles. And if you take a look here, they're all vinyl coated. So you're not going to cut your hands. And one last thing I wanted to mention about this, and that is these have holes right here on both sides. Those are for additional accessories that you can buy so that you can put long handle tools on here. And I'll show you that a little bit later. And identical to the basket, it has the cam arms in the back here. So all I do, put it on, and tighten it up. We could put both of these accessories on here with no problem. So as you can see here with the open basket concept, if you had a small cutting job, you can put your small saw in, your small chainsaw here, your wedges, your log tongs, your fuel, your oil, your safety kit, and your chaps, and you're on your way. Everything in one place. And the nice thing is, if chips should fly inside this basket, they'll all fall down because of the perforated bottom. Now, one thing I wanted to point out, I really couldn't put this system down any lower because this is the maximum height of my three point. I've got about three to four inches of space in here. So if I put this any further down, this, I would hit this basket if I ever raised it up that high. All right, here's the one you woodhounds have been waiting for, the chainsaw holder. This thing is a frickin' tank. It's made out of 10 gauge steel and it weighs 22 pounds. Let me tell you, it is substantial. You can put anything from my 192 14 inch saw all the way up to a 660 here with no issues. A couple of things I wanted to point out. It also has storage for your scrunch right over there. And all the products that I'm showing you with the cam arm system here, once you lock them down, you can use a padlock here and lock them up. And this chainsaw holder has a cam arm system on it right over here so that when you put your bar inside, you lift this up, lock it in, and there is a pin right here that you put right there. Let me show you how it works on the bar. So as you can see, I'm moving it as far over as I can to give me extra room. That's the maximum that I can go without hitting this bar here. So I'll just lock it in. Now I can put any saw in there from 14 inch bar length to 24 inch bar length. Let me show you. This is my MS-192 with a 14 inch bar on it. Fits inside there and as I mentioned, there's a locking mechanism. So I take the cam and I put it up and lock it in. It sits on this rubber plate here and doesn't vibrate. Pretty neat, huh? And to remove it, all I do is pull the pin, pull the cam arm down, lift the saw out. Now I'll show you with my MS-261, which is a 20 inch bar. And I think this is probably the most ideal saw for most people and the bar length as well. And the reason I say that is I can't go too much higher on this. A 
lock it in. And there it is. Oh, forgot to put the pin in. Although even if I didn't have the pin and the cam was off, I don't think it'd be a big issue because I don't think this is going anywhere. I don't think I can hit a bump that that thing would jump out. And now let's try the MS500 with a 24 inch bar. Now this one for most people is gonna be a tough one. I'm 6'3", and I'm gonna have to really stretch on this to get it up there. But it does work. And there you go. Now I don't know why you'd wanna do it, but Artillion drills some additional holes for bungee cords. So you could potentially, if you were concerned, put this on, wrap it around the handle, bring it down and lock it in there. But as I say, I don't think there's a need for it, but it's there if you need it. One last thing I wanted to point out about the chainsaw carrier, and that is you wanna make sure that you don't position it anywhere here so that your three point might come up and damage it. So to complement your chainsaw holder, Artillion makes a fuel can holder. It's meant to hold a two and a half gallon can and a one gallon can. Now this one is 22 pounds and it can hold up to 45 pounds of weight. And let me show you some other cool features with it. All these cutouts that you see here are for wedges or for clamps. Let me show you. You can use large wedges or small wedges. You can even use the metal wedges here. There's plenty of room for that and you have it on either side as well. However, let me warn you about some wedges. Let me show you. Now these cutouts here for the wedges work fantastic if you have a smooth face wedge. But if you happen to have one that has the ridges, it will not sit very well in there. So just an FYI, it'll still work. It'll just hang cockeyed. And one other feature is this U-bolt here. It's meant so you can move it on either side. I happen to have it in the middle. You can put it on the right side, the left side, or you can put it on either side. I think I'm gonna get a couple more and let me show you why in just a minute. With this, I can use my club hammer and put it in there or put a hatchet in there or have a hatchet here and a club hammer here. It's very multifunctional. And for those of you who have enclosed trailer with the E-Track system, you're familiar with this type of a clip. They're made to go into these slots right here. And that's your hole down so that you can tie down the fuel cans if you choose to. By going over there. and tightening it up. So a nice safety feature in case you're traveling, but you can also use a bungee cord, which there are holes right over here to go over or on this side. So you can lash it down multiple different ways. And because this uses the E-Track system, I have a ton of these E-Track clips that I can install here. And these have little rings in here. I don't know what I would use them for, but I'll think about it and come up with something. So let's install this here on the end, clamp it down. Pretty stout. I can put my two gallon and one gallon in, my wedges. or my favorite X27, my splitting maul, my splitting ax, or lastly, my club hammer. 
So you're looking at a pretty versatile system here with the chainsaw holder and the fuel can holder. And remember, if we're doing any cutting, we have to have our safety gear with us. So another product in the accessory tool storage are toolboxes. There are two different kinds. This is the extra large and there's a large. And the difference being on this one here is it does have zinc plated latches. It does have a weather seal here for water not to get inside the toolbox. It does have a removable tray and it'll hold up to 30 pounds of your tools. So we could take my toolbox here and actually put it inside the Artillion toolbox and close it up. Now I have room for more tools and like all the other Artillion storage products, it's as easy as picking it up, putting it on the bar, pulling the cams down on both sides and now I can reach in and get my tools, reach my tool tray and anything else that I want to put inside here. So now I don't have to keep running back and forth to the pole barn or garage to get tools. I should have plenty in here to do the job. So one of the hardest things to transport on a tractor are long handle tools, whether it be a rake or a shovel. And if I want to do a quick job, it's a royal pain. But I have one access point to put something long, and that's right here, this tube. I can put that on here with the Coyote tractor, and it does work pretty good. But when I'm going and it's bouncing, it does something like this. And if I'm going short distances, it's okay. It hasn't fallen out yet. But there's a better way, and let me show you. So Artillion has developed the long handle tool carrier and it hangs on the bar just like all the other accessories. Let me show you. We can just lock it in and it's ready to load. Now we have it in the horizontal position. You can also change the clamps over here. There's all these holes here and you can mount this vertically if you choose. So let me show you what goes on here. So a standard leaf rake and your standard 14 tine garden rake. It'll hold the Fiskar Power Stroke Pruner. It'll even hold your string trimmer. Now a straight shaft would probably be better than this curved shaft, but as you can see, it does work. But this long handle tool carrier doesn't work on everything. If you have wooden handle shovels or like this Fiskar aluminum, oval aluminum handle, it's too wide and these rubber grips don't pull all the way around it. So just wanted to make sure you were aware of that. And like all Artillion modular products, easy to put on, just as easy to take off and carry into the shed. And though we've reviewed the fuel tank holder, there is one more module that's very similar to this, a square or a rectangle holder, and it's for a cooler. And it also has a built-in cup holder for two cups and an opener for your beer or pop, whichever you choose. And it's extremely easy to put on, just like all the modules are. So you finished with your project. Now what do you do with the module that's on your tractor? So what do you do with it? You hang it right here. Artillion has come up with the wall mounted toolbar. This is the 68 inch model. So I can hold quite a few modules here. Let me show you. I'll start out with my fuel tank module. Lock it in. Followed by my chainsaw holder. Next is my open basket. And last is my bucket holder. So as you can see, it holds a lot of modules here and you can mix and match and put some on your tractor, leave them in here, and they're ready to go when you are. So the last accessory that Artillion sells are these LED lights. Now I'm gonna do a separate video on them because I have to hook them up to show you all the features and benefits on them. They are way cool, so you may wanna watch that video. Well, hopefully, you come away with a better understanding of the Artillion storage products here. And I will tell you, they are truly heavy duty accessories. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up as well. 
And remember, pass it forward. Make the world a better place. And don't be a tool. Watch Tony's Cool Tools. Until I see you next time, have a great one.